What's new, fathead? As you know, I, I'm a Funko fan, and I really appreciate them wanting the fans to see their product. Uh, they have some great things, and they have not shortcut us on, on these Captain America items. We're going to be looking at uh, the Red Skull and Cap himself. I'm going to go ahead and look at uh, Mr. Johann Schmidt. I guess he's Johann Schmidt. I guess he could be uh, Jordan Maxson. I, I, don't, I, I think in the movie, though, he's Johann Schmidt. George Maxson was the first Red Skull, but he was actually just an emissary of the Red Skull. Oh, I, I can show you this. I'm, I was kind of excited about it. Let me tell you, um, first off, the packaging. I love this packaging. Uh, this is a great shot of the Red Skull right here. Absolutely awesome. I, I, I think that's, uh, there. there's uh, Reddy right there with, uh, he's holding the Cosmic Cube. Again, Funko puts so much into their packaging, so no matter where you display it, whether it's in the package or out of the package, I, I mean, it's impressive. There we have uh, the little Avengers Assemble symbol. We've got, uh, we've got um, the skull holding the Cosmic Cube. The back has a brief little uh, description here that you're welcome to go ahead and look at. Now on the bottom, we've got an Avengers Assemble, more like a shield symbol, and then Funko. Really, their, pro their packaging is absolutely awesome. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, the Red Skull here. Now these are bobbleheads. Now, as I take him out, uh, he's got a, a Captain America. That's kind of cool. See that? That is very neat. Keith Mallow, who owns Collectors Comics, is uh, probably one of the largest Captain Com uh, American collectors in the world, and he's uh, really been excited about this movie. I get, honestly, I get more excited about it the more I see it. They pop right out of the package real easy. Another thing that Funko does very, very well. Now, <laughs> I don't care how you make... Uh, uh, Red Skull, one way or another, he comes out creepy. I, I hope to get my hands on some of the Captain America pops uh, from Funko because I, I just love their pop stuff. But uh, and, and we'll let you take a look at him. But man, even uh, as as these cool little characters, he's just creepy. Well, here you see. I mean, excellent sculpting, very very nice lines and things. Um, I don't know if I could say it looks like Hugo Weaving, but it definitely looks like the Red Skull. He's got his little jack-booted booted, uh, outfit here. He's got a uh, little nameplate so that you don't forget that if the, if the big red dome doesn't get you, the Red Skull, that'll tell you who it is. He's got red hands. Uh, I'm surprised he didn't have gloves, but uh, I was looking on here trying to find a Hydra symbol or something, but uh, I, I don't see it. But this is a very, very cool, very, very detailed outfit. He comes with a German Luger, I think that's a Luger, uh, right there. This is These are just fun, but he still, he does look weird, doesn't he? And uh, what do you see him close up? Very, very cool. Now here we have Captain America uh, in his, uh, to me it looks more like the Ultimates uniform um, that I think is very, very cool because he doesn't actually have the wings on the side of his head, and I just have to be honest with you, if when we see him in the Avengers, if he does not have the 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 wing the wing head like I know him not the helmet with wings on the side but actual uniform with the wings I am not going to be happy I, I don't like I, that's great for Ultimate Cap that's wonderful blah 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 but I like him with the wings on the tip of his head that's that's just me so Captain uh, Captain America debuted 19 March of 1941 uh, at the predecessor to Marvel Comics Timely Comics and uh, created by that immortal team of Joe Simon and Jack Kirby. Uh, created in mind to be uh, a kind of a rallying cry. Uh, he, Red Skull also debuted with him in that uh, issue. I don't know if Johann Schmidt was in there, but I know George Maxson was. But here we see, the, with the Funko stuff, we see Cap running. He's got his shield right there. We've got um, awesome window box packaging. This is a great shot of Cap. You can see that right up in there. Very, very nice. Again, Funko, with their packaging, is just awesome. So there you go. Let's get him out of the package, though. Now, I, I am going at midnight to see the uh, uh, movie. Well, actually, I don't know what time I'll be seeing the movie. But I am going to see it as quickly as I possibly can. All right, very, very cool. He's got a parachuter's harness on. R right away, we, you know, we look at the uniform. We can see he's got the, you know, the uh, old uh, 
you know, the 40s version looking helmet. It's got the nice little painted wings on there. Um, now, I don't fault them for doing this because this is a movie's version. Um, I would also like to see, and I believe they also have just a regular cap. He's got the uh, his parachute harness on. You can kind of see it all the way around. They did an excellent job detailing that. Uh, uniform looks very good. Shield uh, uh, looks awesome. It's got a little bit of a metallic to it. A uh, little bit understated. I, I mean, very, very cool. So you can have him out there. I do wish it had a little bit more twist in the arm, just so we can go. But he, I mean, that look, that just looks cool sitting on your shelf, doesn't it? The back, you can see it right there. You can see uh, both arms lift up, just like with the Red Skull. They did an awesome job on these things. So you can show your support for the movie and for America, having little Captain America on there, having where you can, you know, massive headbutt. These are very, very cool. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at them up close. Again, I love these Funko products. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, but go out and get you some of these. So here we are with our extreme close-up of the bobbleheads. Look at the detail on these things. They, I mean, the multi-level chin strap. I mean, that's awesome. Nice shield, nice harness. You know, I, I do kind of wish that they made them bright red, but you know, I think it's in fitting with the movie. So all in all, I, I think they did an excellent job on these. Thanks to Funko uh, for making another great product. Also, oh, let's let's get uh, the Red Skull in here. Look at him. Arr. I mean, he just looks creepy. Nice uniform. There's the gun. I think they, they just did a good quality job. So make sure you go see the movie. We've got other Captain America stuff coming up for you this week. Hope you enjoyed this. We'll see you next time. Remember to subscribe and go to our Facebook page to get updates. Doc Owen with Action Figure Times.